Hello, and welcome back to the Invincible. Astrogator, Gorski's not here. I'm afraid he continued to explore. And if he went where I think he did, he might have lost contact with the camp as well as Dragonfly. So he will most likely lose contact too. Uh, possibly. Well, there's only one way to be certain. It's your decision, sir. may lose another crew member. If you think so, turn back now. Uh, no, I won't. I can't leave him. It's just... I'm concerned. It's understandable. The line's breaking up, but I understood. I'll let you know, sir, when I come out of the tunnel. Landed. I repeat, Hopper has landed. Astrogator, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Any side effects? Landing wasn't too hard on you? All good. Spine still in one piece. No signs of overstrain. Not even shortness of breath. Perfect. Hopefully the hike to camp goes just as smoothly. Hundred percent. The dust has already settled. Huh. I've located the second lander. Our people are still on this planet. Ah, very good. I was afraid they might try to fly off, which wouldn't be the best idea given the loss of communication with Dragonfly. What about that lander, Yasla? You think our people tried to fly away on it? I seriously doubt it. Looks like a bad malfunction to me. But I'm taking Hopper out of here. We can't afford to lose this lander, too. We've gotten out of worse than this. Equipment breaks from time to time, that's normal. But now... Go ahead. What's bothering you? This lack of communication. It takes too long. Especially considering there's a cyberneticist amongst them. Yes. It worries me, too.
I have an object in sight. This is where they searched the ocean's biosynosis. Meaning, oh, where they caught that fish, right? Mm, yeah. They stopped here first, then walked along the coastline northward. Correct. But I think you might consider taking a shortcut towards the east, straight to the camp. Copy that. Heading east. Are there any signs of the crew? I found a cigarette bud and a pack. Someone was smoking here. So, they didn't give a damn about the regulations. Disrupting the ecosystem. No, that's not the point. I understand you want to minimize the effects of our interference here, Doctor. But the mission's safety is at stake. I don't think I have to explain to you the dangers of igniting a dusty atmosphere. Preserving the integrity of Regis III's already extinct ecosystem is not a priority in this scenario. Negligible, actually. Security procedures exist for humans. The rule of integrity is for the sake of everything alien to us. We shouldn't place one above the other. What are you saying, Yasna? The mission and the safety of our people have the highest priority. Always. Always? Are we really that self-righteous? Of course, Doctor. We must be the most important to ourselves. And they must be the most important to themselves. Whoever they will be. In the end, the strongest will survive. Isn't that how evolution works? Not in a biological sense, Astrogator. Besides, I'm not convinced if we should interfere with everything alien to us just because we can. Doctor, interference is at the heart of human nature. Man would still be a monkey if he'd only looked at trees instead of cutting them down. Yes, we have a nasty nature. I can't argue with that. If we should be able to get to the campsite this way too. Or maybe not. Can you please confirm that I'm on the correct route? Yes, I confirm. This Thank way you. you'll reach the camp within an hour. Academy, they used to say that difficult routes lead us the farthest. Well, hopefully not too far. You still have to come back. Are you trying to motivate me, sir? Of course. I appreciate the, uh, effort. Looks like some spiky metal growths. 
artificial plant? Is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure? Oh, I've never seen anything like this. I wish I had time to run some tests. When the situation is stabilized, we will take samples. I promise. Oh, I feel nauseous. Suddenly. That's not it. I feel darkness. Uh, hang on. I should move. Oh, there's no time. Well, can we go this way or should we turn back? This way it is. There's no more of these branches. Is everything all right? Yes, yes, all good. They're already in the infirmary on life support. You found them in time. How about their reactions? Have they regained consciousness? I mean, maybe one of them said something. If anything changes, I'm doing an EEG on them right now. I confirm, Gorski was here. His rope is still hanging from the slope. That's a good sign. Since he left it, he intends to come back this way. Huh. But why hasn't he yet? Guess I know where Gorska was going. So, let's follow him. I'm going down after him. Now, tell me one more thing. When it comes to Marit, are you going to use a grave tapper? Yes, I am considering that as a possibility. And what is your opinion? Should we look into our brain? The more we know, the better... Ch Jump, that report. <sighs> One sec. Oh, I 
about the end of the rope. Isn't that good? Not at all. What do you mean? Damn. Oh, that's the last thing I need. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm hanging with my full weight on the rope, away from the wall. Oh, I can't go up. Nothing to grab onto. No, oh, it won't do much good. Oh, there's still a fair few meters left to the ground. Oh. Do you have a better idea? I can just jump off. Is that safe? A substantial fall on unsteady ground. This is hardly a maneuver that I would describe as safe. So let's take a moment to analyze the situation. I'm thinking if Gorski went down this way and didn't break anything. Yeah, we don't know that, Yasna. He could keep going even with injuries. So, do you have another idea? Oh, will I be hanging like this until the end of time itself? There is a certain possibility, or rather uncertain, but maybe it's worth trying. I'm listening. Can you see the probe? Yes. It's flying near me. Good. If I instructed it to fly as close as possible to you, you could grab onto it. Are you sure it will hold me? That I cannot guarantee. All right. Let's give it a try. I'm entering the instruction. You must guide me. One meter forward. Uh, I can't reach it. A bit closer, please. Is the you could say so. I fell from a lower height. It was a soft landing, though. Regis a few minutes after noon. Even then, Dr. Gorski was walking alone. Communications blew up shortly before he got here. Damn. This place is amazing. It's all made up of these structures. Except they don't look like creations of nature anymore. Well, maybe that's why Dr. Gorski, not to mention the Alliance... Well, if we're looking for something on this planet... This could be it. These structures form entire multi-story complexes. They look like... a city. Are you saying that... No, no. There's no point in jumping to conclusions yet. <sighs> Left or right? Dr. Gorski set up the flags. Sir, he kept going. Despite the lack of communication with the rest. You'd have to see it with your own eyes, sir. This place. Gorski may have lost himself in his discovery. Are you joking, Doctor? Lost himself? Gorski? He may not have respect for the unknown, but he has his feet firmly on the ground. I think he must have discovered something. And since he suffers from excessive ambition, he's capable of stupid acts in the name of a breakthrough. That sounds more like him. You must trace his steps, Doctor. I'm working on it. The height of the entire complex is over 100 meters. Even 150. And all made of this metal? 
To a significant degree. Is something worth to live here? Yes. It would have to be very small. Like insects. On the other hand, there's no floor around to support such organisms. Are you receiving a signal? What signal? From Dr. Gorski. No, no. Why are you asking? He tried to open up a connection, set up a transmitter. There's nothing on the comms, but I'll check the record history. Please give me a moment. Have you chosen where to go? I'm still wondering. There's no time to hesitate, Doctor. We need to take decisive action. <sighs> I can't even see the bottom. The structures go that deep. Yes. I dread to think. What if Dr. Gorski fell down there? I took that into account when calibrating the probe. It will examine the bottom. I'll let you know if... if I find him. I'll squeeze through the passage. Two more hours. Huh? That's all Gorski has left of oxygen, at best. And at worst? He's just finishing it up. Though it all depends on his activity. If I remember correctly, the atmosphere here is breathable. Basically, yes. Dr. Crowther, however, warned of the methane content. I know, I know. But the effects won't be immediate. That gives us a few extra hours. These constructions don't have a clear division into functions. They're huge, complicated, and uniform at the same time. It's hard for me to imagine that any biological forms could survive here. The interiors of these structures are filled to the brim with wires and rods. So maybe this metal builds up somehow, by itself. Oh, you've already said something similar before. Just after landing, when you found those bushes. Yes, right. Ah, I see the probe. Is everything all right with it? Not quite. The overload protection is activated. Until I do a reset, it's on manual control. Is it because of my flight? I... No, it's possible. But please don't worry about it. What matters is that you're fine. Wouldn't it be better if I helped you? I can close it manually, after all. I'd need some directions first. I to bring it to you. No problem. I'm on it. First, let's find a place where I can land it. Otherwise, you won't be able to help me, Doctor. There. I found the right place. All right, then. I'm waiting for instructions. Let's see. Rotate the probe 120 degrees. Okay, now. Please rotate the probe 40 degrees. Ten meters forward. And 15 degrees to the right and five meters forward. 
two more meters to the right. Uh, two meters forward. Land. 